Welcome back. Today we're going to take a look at BGP Local AS and its applications. We have here AS100 that is pairing with AS300 over the directly connected interface. IP prefix used here is 13.0.0.0 For the purpose of testing, PE1 in the AS100 is going to advertise its loopback IP address in the BGP over to AS300. Local AS feature allows for BGP sessions to be established using an alternate ASN than the ASN that BGP process is running on. So in this case, we have the BGP process running on AS100. We're going to change it to AS2020 and use AS100 as the local AS that is already configured on AS300 side. Let's move to the routers and take a look at the config. Let's start the config on AS100 on PE1. We are going to enable BGP process using the new AS that is 2020. So first of all we're going to remove the existing config and enable BGP process using the new AS that is 2020. Re-establish the BGP peering with AS300 and set AS100 as local AS. Now let's take a look at the BGP process. What we're saying here that in the AS100, the original AS100, the BGP process is using 2020. We're pairing with AS300 and using AS100 as local AS. Next, uh, we're going to advertise loopback zero IP address into the BGP process for the purpose of verification. Now we're going to check the BGP table at the AS300 site. We noticed that the prefix has two ASN associated with it. It shows that the prefix was originated in the AS2020 and then traversed through AS100 to reach 300. To stop the alternate AS from being prepended when sending routes, we are going to use optional keywords of no prepend replace AS. Now we move to the AS300 and we take a look at the BGP table on the PE at AS300 site and we see that the prefix is advertised and we see this time the AS2020 is not prepended with the BGP update. Thank you very much.